little electron which I believe shifted us into a parallel universe considering that we caused a chain reaction that could have catastrophically destroyed our universe. Hidden beneath the picturesque Swiss countryside, a breathtaking scientific marvel has silently been rewriting the rulebook of reality, all under the expert guidance of CERN. For the past decade, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a true wonder of scientific exploration, has fearlessly journeyed into the uncharted depths of the cosmos. This Large Hadron Collider could destroy the universe during ongoing experiments, and this may result in a parallel universe. It's been on a mission to unveil the well-guarded secrets hidden within the tiniest building blocks of our existence. Yet, recent unexpected events have sent shockwaves through the scientific community, leaving even renowned physicists astounded. What's at stake with the CERN's decision to hit pause on the Large Hadron Collider? Why are some of the world's brightest minds entertaining doomsday scenarios for our planet? Join us in a captivating journey as we explore this mystery that has even Michio Kaku on edge, and explore whether there's genuine cause for public concern about CERN's actions. Known as the Atom Smasher, the awe-inspiring Large Hadron Collider, LHC, has held the world spellbound with its astonishing discoveries and sheer magnificence. In an era predating its inception, the realm of knowledge was shrouded in uncertainty, with questions unanswered and theories untested. It was a time when the bedrock of our universe remained hidden behind a veil of ambiguity, leaving scientists to ponder the mysteries lying just beyond their reach. Our understanding of the laws of physics, though partial, portrayed an incomplete picture of our cosmic abode. But with the advent of the LHC, a paradigm shift occurred. The fog of uncertainty lifted, ushering in a new age of exploration and enlightenment that would forever alter the course of our world. The renowned Large Hadron Collider, located at the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, near Geneva, Switzerland, returned to operation in April 2022 after a three-year hiatus dedicated to extensive upgrades and maintenance. This significant moment signaled the commencement of a remarkable scientific undertaking called RUN-3. This endeavor holds the potential for a sequence of astonishing experiments to captivate global interest until 2024. Nevertheless, CERN has recently issued a disquieting statement regarding activating the renowned Large Hadron Collider. In partnership with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities and laboratories across hundreds of countries, CERN constructed the largest and highest energy particle collider between 1998 and 2008. Situated within a 27-kilometer circumference tunnel, the LHC resides approximately 175 meters beneath the border of France and Switzerland near Geneva. As we just mentioned, the circular tunnel housing the collider is underground, but at varying depths spanning 50 to 175 meters, this depth variation is deliberate in order to minimize the extent of tunneling beneath the Jura Mountains, thereby avoiding the need for constructing a vertical shaft. This specific tunnel selection cuts costs and reduces landscape alterations. In addition, the Earth's crust provides inherent shielding against background radiation. Constructed between 1983 and 1988, the three eight-meter wide tunnel is lined with concrete. The tunnel travels along the boundary separating Switzerland and France at four distinct points. Although most of its length is within France, the surface level facility houses supplementary equipment like compressors, ventilation systems, control electronics, and refrigeration units. The data generated by the LHC and associated simulations approximated around 15 petabytes annually. To handle the substantial data influx from collisions, the LHC added a computing grid as an integral component of its design. The construction phase of the Large Hadron Collider incurred a cost of approximately 7.5 billion euros, making it one of the most financially extensive scientific instruments ever developed. Its birth was approved in 1995 with an allotted budget of 2.6 billion euros with an additional 210 million euros earmarked for experiments. Upon reaching operational status on September 10, 2008, the LHC encountered a setback during its initial testing period. A magnet quench incident led to substantial damage affecting over 50 superconducting magnets, their mountings, and the vacuum pipe. This incident caused a 14-month delay, and the already long wait was extended. 
In 2010, the LHC achieved its first collision, attaining an energy level of 3.5 tera electron volts per beam, nearly quadrupling the previous world record. Following subsequent upgrades, its energy capacity surged to 6.5 tera electron volts per beam. The collider consists of four crossing points where accelerated particles meet in a collision. Seven detectors are also carefully crafted to observe distinct phenomena and are strategically positioned around these crossing points. While the primary focus of the Large Hadron Collider involves proton-proton collisions, it also possesses the capability to accelerate heavy ion beams. Generally, one month is dedicated to experiment lead collisions and proton lead collisions every year. The fundamental purpose of the collider lies in enabling physicists to experimentally validate the predictions of particle physics theories. Most importantly, the LHC helps to measure the properties of the Higgs boson and to explore the extensive collection of new particles hypothesized by supersymmetric theories. The term hadron pertains to subatomic composite particles composed of quarks held together by a robust force. It is similar to how electromagnetic forces bind atoms and molecules. Prominent examples of hadrons are baryons such as protons and neutrons, and mesons like the pion and kaon. These were discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s. Primarily, a collider functions as a specialized particle accelerator, merging two opposing particle beams to facilitate collisions. While constructing such colliders may be challenging, they are powerful research tools in particle physics, which makes them worth the effort. Their ability to attain higher center of mass energies than fixed target setups make them invaluable. Consequently, scientists can analyze the byproducts of these collisions, gaining evidence and insights into the structure of the subatomic realm and the governing laws of nature. In reality, many of these byproducts emerge only from high energy collisions, exhibiting rapid decay within short time frames. Hence, to study these byproducts, we can only use the collider due to the impracticality of alternative methods. One of these byproducts or particles, the Higgs boson, is a pivotal component of the standard physics model asserted by theory, but previously unseen due to its substantial mass and complex nature. CERN scientists postulated that the LHC would generate multiple Higgs bosons every minute if the standard model held, enabling physicists to verify or refute its existence. The LHC also facilitated investigations into supersymmetric particles and other hypothetical entities. After its first three-year run, the Collider took an extended break for upgrades until 2015. Upon resumption, the second operational phase lasted three more years between 2015 to 2018, with another prolonged shutdown extending until 2022. In April of 2022, the LHC was again reactivated with an upgraded maximum beam energy of 6.5 TV, and this operational phase was projected to extend until 2026. However, a perplexing event startled scientists amidst the third run of the Large Hadron Collider. On July 7th, a peculiar crack appeared within Earth's magnetic field. Unlike a momentary lightning flash, this mysterious crack persisted, remaining open for 14 hours. This prolonged opening facilitated the passage of potent solar winds, instigating substantial geomagnetic storms that invoked captivating and awe-inspiring auroras. The geomagnetic storm triggered by the crack produced an aurora of such breathtaking beauty that scientists found it difficult to lower their gaze. Yet the question remained, what was the underlying cause of this sudden crack and what does it have to do with the LHC? Interestingly, the emergence of this crack can be attributed to a rare phenomenon known as a corrotating interaction region from the Sun, or CIR. These CIRs are expansive plasma structures generated within the heliosphere's low and middle latitude areas, where the rapid and sluggish solar wind streams intermingle. The heliosphere encompasses the sun's magnetic field and the solar wind. Similar to coronal mass ejection CMEs, corrotating interaction regions are propelled from the sun toward Earth. Within them, shock waves and compressed magnetic fields can give rise to tumultuous space weather, often manifesting as captivating auroras. During the early hours of July 7th, this specific CIR impacted Earth's magnetic field, resulting in a sustained G-1 class geomagnetic storm, as per the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA assessments. Analysts noted that a coronal mass ejection was embedded within the solar wind preceding the co-rotating interaction region. The vital question arises, should the public be concerned about this magnetic field crack? 
Experts say raising the alarm is unnecessary, as fissures within Earth's magnetic field are relatively common. This magnetic shield safeguards us from solar storms emitted by the sun. Although numerous cracks in the field tend to open and close promptly, recent instances demonstrate that these cracks can remain exposed for extended durations, spanning several hours. In 2003, Harold Freya, the lead author of a study concerning this phenomenon, likened the Earth's magnetic shield to a drafty house with an open window during a storm. This analogy illustrates that while this protective barrier primarily diverts the storm's impact, some energy slips through its gaps, similar to a storm that damages a couch indoors. In like manner, a magnetic shield usually protects against space storms. Yet certain energy infiltrates through its fissures, sometimes causing failures in satellite, radio, communications, and power systems. Fortunately, this particular crack did not result in radio or power failures. Instead, residents of Canada and the U.S. were treated to awe-inspiring northern lights underscoring the stunning effects of the breach. Moreover, scientists have unveiled that the sun is on the brink of entering its most active phase in the solar cycle, a fact that has surfaced earlier than anticipated. This heightened activity forecasts increased chances of witnessing auroras over the next three years. Notably, the Large Hadron Collider's recent accomplishments extend beyond identifying the magnetic field crack. As the quest for answers grew more fervent, so did concerns voiced by those who questioned the potential consequences of tampering with the divine. The Large Hadron Collider, the instrument aiding our comprehension of the universe, became intertwined with apprehensions about triggering our extinction. For instance, some believe the LHC is a hidden portal to the netherworld, capable of unleashing demons and nightmarish creatures into our reality. Others hypothesize that the LHC conceals a formidable weapon poised to obliterate the entire planet with a mere flick of a switch. And let us not forget those who entertain notions that the LHC is an elaborate governmental scheme aimed at manipulating minds and transforming us into unthinking automatons. Others assert that the LHC delves into profoundly evil pursuits. Amid such theories, they suggest that the particle collisions within the LHC are part of a covert governmental experiment to shape a new world order, where survival would be restricted to the elite. Central to this apocalyptic hypothesis is the concept of a false vacuum, a theoretical space state where energy does not rest. At its lowest level, the LHC's potential yield of a false vacuum could incite a flood of catastrophic events that destroy everything we cherish. While this doomsday scenario might seem far-fetched, the likelihood of it happening isn't zero. The LHC's experiments possess the potential to establish conditions facilitative to the emergence of a false vacuum, leading to the formation of black holes capable of engulfing entire galaxies. The gravity of the risks tied to a false vacuum is profound, capable of revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. Similar to Thanos' snap in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where half the universe vanishes, this scenario envisions the universe collapsing into nothingness. Although the creation of black holes within the LHC is unlikely, the implications of a false vacuum are so threatening that they cannot be ignored. But why hasn't that happened yet? This predicament revolves around the Higgs field, which is pivotal in the concept of a false vacuum. We'll get into the details of the Higgs field in a moment. But for now, the thing to note is that the Higgs field must overcome an immense energy barrier through quantum tunneling to transition to the lower energy true vacuum state. The enormity of this barrier is so high that the transition would likely demand time far exceeding the universe's age. In essence, while the theoretical collapse of the universe is a concern, practical implications are not immediate. The Higgs field is metastable, temporarily confined to the false vacuum state. This means that although the peril of a doomsday scenario is genuine, it does not pose an immediate threat. In July 2017, the public was introduced to many analyses based on extensive datasets collected in 2016. This period was characterized by an in-depth exploration of the properties of the Higgs boson, alongside an increase in the precision of various outcomes. From March 2021 onward, the LHC experiments unveiled the discovery of 59 new hadrons within the data accumulated during the collider's initial two operational phases. A significant milestone occurred on July 2, 2022, when researchers reported the observation of a novel pentaquark variety comprising a charm quark, a charm antiquark, an up quark, a down quark, 
and a strange quark. This revelation emerged during the scrutiny of charged B meson decays. Over time, every particle physics experiment experiences a gradual decline in outcomes as the initial prime results are gradually achieved. As the years progress, the yield of new findings diminishes proportionally. The clear strategy to address this phenomenon involves upgrading the apparatus, particularly regarding collision energy, luminosity, and detector improvements. There's even consideration of a potential increase to a collision energy of 14 teraelectron volts. This upgrade, known as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, was initiated in June 2018. Its primary objective is to amplify the machine's luminosity, thereby enhancing the prospects of detecting rare processes and refining statistically marginal measurements. The third run of the LHC is positioned as an intermediate phase within its overarching program. Run 1 highlights the momentous discovery of the long-anticipated Higgs boson. Subsequently, Run 2 featured the revelation of significant decay modes of the Higgs boson, validating its role as the source of mass. So what precisely is the Higgs boson, and why does it hold such immense significance? To unravel this query, we must return to the universe's origins, a state of high temperature, density, and rapid expansion. In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the cosmos was a turbulent mixture of particles, energy, and radiation. However, an extraordinary transformation unfolded as the universe cooled and stretched. At this point, the enigmatic Higgs field was activated, an energy field pervading space. This field interacts with particles as they traverse it, giving them mass. Engaging with the pervasive Higgs field is imperative for particles to possess mass. Absent this interaction, particles would lack mass, resulting in a universe significantly distinct from our familiar reality. The structures we presently observe would fail to materialize. This is where the Higgs boson enters the scene.